Hey guys, it's Editing Bree here, and as you can tell, I'm doing a voiceover because the audio from these first few clips aren't working. I don't know why, but it's time to improvise. So I'm Brianna, aka Hook by Brianna, and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I am making a sweater. It's for Black History Month. And before, I didn't have this vision that you'll see what it turns out to be. But I'll show y'all what it was before too, the original idea. And then you can see how different it is from what it actually came out to be. But I think it's better anyway. So I designed it on Canva. We have the afro for empowerment black women, yes. And then we have the flower sleeve here, which is for like flourishing and the black community and all that. And then this is just to go along on the back. The back wasn't supposed to be important. <laughs> so, And then Hook, that's my brand. You already know the vibes. Had to include that in some way. And then here is everything put together. I wanted it to be a crop sweater because that would be a lot faster. And I like the crop look too. Then after that, I converted the pictures onto this website called Stitch Fiddle, and that makes like little crochet tapestry charts for you. So I definitely recommend using that if you want to get into tapestry crocheting. So I'm actually running low on my black yarn, so I'm gonna go run back at Joanne to get another roll. One more should be enough to finish because I'm almost done with the hair. But yeah, I'll catch up with y'all once I have another update. All right, hey guys, so it's a big update. It is now the next morning, and I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like now first. Yeah, yeah, look at that. So, I made some flowers and I sewed them onto the afro because I thought that's a good little touch. And then I also added like 3D parts, so like the edges of the hair. Let me do it this way so you can see which parts are sticking out. And like the earring and the border of the face, just so it pops more. And yeah, I'm going to decide how long I want to make it. Right now, I just got into adding the brown at the top too. The brown is supposed to be the main color. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, a, at least so you can see the brown. And then that'll be how long the back will be. So yeah, here it is so far. Hey guys, just a little update. So right now I'm working on the front, front panels. So I decided to make the hair like bleed onto the front that's on the back, if you know what I'm talking about. So this is like the edge of her afro, but it's also the front. So it will be like this on the front, you know? Then we're probably gonna make some more sunflowers to go on the front portion too, just so it's not a random black patch. So here's the back panel. Yeah, I love it. So, I'm about to go somewhere. So, I'm gonna crochet in the car. So, I'm gonna work on the sleeves in the car and not the front panel because that'll I have to like line it up with the afro on the back, so that's better to do back here. But, I'm gonna work on the sleeves in the car. I started on one, this is gonna be the plain one with flowers on it. So first I'm gonna make it, make the whole sleeve brown and then I'm gonna make the flowers and sew it on like I did on her afro. And yeah. Ooh man, that's horrible. So it is day three I think. Um, so I finished the sleeve that I started last night. So there we go. Now I just have to make some sunflowers and then I'm gonna like, put them on this sleeve and 
Since I started on the front panel too, I'm gonna make some sunflowers for that too since I did make the hair bleed onto the front. But yeah, I'll link down the tutorial I use for the sunflowers by the way. Hey guys, so it is day four. I just got back from school and filming another video. If you don't know, I'm in the same outfit. But um, right now, I'm working on making some flowers because I have to do some in the hair. And then on the sleeve that I finished. So here's the plain sleeve right here. So I'm gonna be putting sunflowers all over it, you know? And then after that, I'm probably going to, I'm gonna work on the other front panel. Then I'll do the last sleeve last because with that one, it's another like grid thing that I have to follow. And I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm just gonna do the other front panel first because that'll probably be faster too. And yeah, now I'm just gonna do like a time lapse or something, so. Alright, so here's a finished sunflower, and I just gotta repeat this a million more times. Hey, hey guys, it is day number five, and we are for sure finishing today. I finished all the pieces last night, which I'll show you real quick. And I just finished making some butterflies, which I'll link the tutorial that I use down below. I would made those butterflies when I was um, in school today. So, here's what the butterflies are looking like. I still need to see if it looks right on there or not. So I didn't sew them on yet. And then the hooked sleeve, which I use one of those um, tapestry crochet patterns. Well, like the converter thing that I use for the, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it says hooked right there. That's one sleeve. And then I believe I already showed y'all all the other pieces. But here's this sleeve. Oh, and I finished the front panel yesterday too. I don't think I show y'all the other front panel, but here it is. So now I just have to sew everything together and then we're gonna see what those butterflies are looking like. And I'll be right back with you. Back guys, as you can tell the quality is way different now on my laptop because I'm editing right now. But I did take pictures today, I did finish today. But a lot of ha a lot happened. I was taking pictures. I didn't bring my key, and I got locked out in the rain. Um, I think I have like a tooth infection or something. I'm kind of dying, but I'm okay. And the pictures turned out cute. And I'll go ahead and show y'all what the sweater looks like too, cause y'all didn't see the finished product altogether. I'm sorry. So it's kind of thick. Um. I recommend making a crochet tapestry thing too. It was super fun and I love how it turned out, you know what? So I didn't end up using the butterflies, but they are cute. I might use them for another project, I'm not sure yet, but I really enjoyed making the sweater. It was a great five days, a great little business week and it turned out great and I didn't share them on Instagram yet at the recording of this video but by the time this is up I posted the pictures already so make sure you go like them on Instagram and comment down below any video ideas that you have or if you've made any crochet tapestry projects before and if you haven't made a sweater with it do that like if you just made a block turn that into a sweater and that'll be amazing but I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace.